Hey everybody, today I got a tutorial here for you guys. Uh, it's going to be how to make a sandwich in Photoshop. Um, basically, just going to be teaching you how to use these uh, different textures that they have in here and um, different um, layer styles and things like that. So uh, let's get started. You're going to go and you're going to file new blank file and you're going to create a new document any size you want. And then uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new layer. We're going to rename that layer bread. Okay, so I got my new layer. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to choose a nice bread color as I already did. I'm going to choose my brush. And I'm going to make the size around 80 pixels. Whoopsies. Wrong button on my keyboard. Okay, so now that I got that, I'm just going to nicely draw here. It's not going to be perfect, telling you that now. Um, a nice piece of bread, whatever. A bread shape, I guess. It's not going to be a nice piece of bread because it's not going to be exact, but whatever. Okay, so now I'm just going to bump up the size of my brush to any size, really, just so then I can just uh, fill it in faster. Okay, so I have my bread filled in. Um, so now let's add some lettuce. So we're going to go over here, we're going to rename this layer lettuce. And then uh, we're going to go down to our color changer here. And we're going to change a green, a, not a bright green, but just somewhere like a forest color kind of green, whatever. Whoops. It's just a nice forest color green. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to make my brush size um, 50 pixels. And then you're just going to draw out however big you want your lettuce, what you want your lettuce to look like in your sandwich. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to grab a bit bigger of a brush here. Just, you know, try and fill in everything really fast for you guys. Okay, so I got my lettuce done. So now we're going to go back down here to our color changer, and we're going to bring it down just a bit, so it's just a bit darker of a green. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change our brush size to 50 pixels. And we're going to draw, like, the stem type part of it, the lettuce. So just kind of draw it however you want here. different things like that. Okay, so we have our lettuce here. Um, so now what we're going to add next is we're going to add some tomato to our sandwich. Okay, so then to create our tomato, we're going to be using a different tool. Um, we're going to go over down our tools palette and we're going to go to our rectangle tool. We're going to right click on it and then we're going to click ellipse tool. So now we can change our color to a tomato-ish color. And then when you click you're going to hold down shift at the same time so you get a perfect circle. And you can do that as many times as you want to make as many pieces of tomatoes you want. So I'm just going to move that a bit there. So now you're going to right click on the tomato layer because it's a, it's a shape right now. you got to simplify the layer to edit it later on. So we're going to just simplify the layer now. And then let's add some, some meat. Okay, so we're going to use the same ellipse tool. Um, change the color, I guess, if you guys would like to. To whatever meatish color it's not doesn't have to be perfect but you know my meat doesn't look like it's yummy <laughs> looks kind of messed up actually but 
be. It doesn't matter. It's a sandwich. So, um, as you can see here on the right side here, um, there's two different layers. There's those ones, and then there's those ones, okay? So to make those all combine to one layer, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the shapes layer at the top, and then we're going to hold shift, and we're click on the bottom one. Then what you're going to do, you're going to right click and go to merge layers. So then now, when you, when you move it around, they're all together. Okay. And then uh, just rename that again. So you always want to rename things to what they are because uh, it gets pretty confusing if you don't because uh, one time I forgot to do that and uh, it was just say it was hard because I had probably close to 100 layers and I could not figure out which layer I needed to change to change just one little thing. So uh, if you guys don't want to have to go through that problem, always name your layers. Um, so now let's add some cheese because no sandwich is a sandwich without some cheese. So we're going to go to our ellipse tool here, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to go back to the rectangle tool, and then just drag out a nice piece of cheese there. My cheese is brown, i got to change it to the right color. It's a nice cheese color. Um, okay, so i got my cheese here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and simplify the layer, so I make it look more like cheese by um, taking my eraser tool. Um, I'm gonna obviously not use that big of a thing. We're gonna bump it down, I would say, to um, start out 150 and just kind of click a couple places. Then you're gonna bump it up a bit, maybe just take out a little corner, bring it down a lot. Just make it, oh, you don't want to drag though, because then that, that doesn't look like cheese. So there's my cheese. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some effects to this. So I'm just going to hide all the other layers except for the bread layer. So I'm going to make my bread look like actually bread, not just a flat thing. So to do so, you're going to click on the layer styles, and then you're going to choose one of these, whichever one you like the most. Make sure you're clicked on the bread layer though first. Okay, so I like this one here. I used uh, the simple inner. <coughs> Excuse me. And then now I'm going to change my lettuce layer uh, to a nice one as well. That looks pretty good there. I'm going to change my tomato layer. I'm going to change my meat layer. And then for my cheese layer, I'm just going to choose that one. First, I'm going to make sure you can see it. So then there's my sandwich. Um, you know what also you can do is I'm going to hide them all again. And I'm just going to add some texture to my tomatoes. So to add some texture, you're just going to go to filters. And um, I'm just going to use this one here called sponge. Um, if you do not have elements 10, it may not show up here. You might have to go up to filter. Sorry about that. You're going to have to go up here to filter texture, no, whoops, sorry, filter, you're going to go to artistic, my bad, and then you click on sponge, and then this whole window here will come up, which is normal, you're just going to click OK, and then as you can see here, I'll zoom in there for you guys, it has that kind of, I don't know, it looks like you took a sponge and just dabbed it, so it's, it's pretty good, um, I'm going to add some texture here to my meat layer, Find something that looks nice. Uh, let's see here. And you can also click down this drop down here. I'm going to go to texture and. Oops. 
accidentally change the wrong layer, you gotta make sure you don't do that. Make sure you're clicked on the correct layer that you want to change. I guess that's good enough. Um, and then for my cheese layer, well, I think it looks good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. If you want to add some texture to your bread layer, um, go right ahead. Um, well, it kind of looks like bread, not really, but so yeah, that is how you make a sandwich in Photoshop and uh, learning how to use your uh, filters and your layer styles in Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.